Hi dear students, how are you all? In this module, we will discuss about effects of heat. When an object is heated, it undergoes many changes. The object becomes hotter. The object makes expand or contract in size. A substance may change its state when heated. For example, water changes into water vapor on heating. We observe a change in temperature on heating. On heating, temperature raises and on cooling, the temperature comes down. In nature, the sun energy brings about the change in temperature. The days are warm while the nights are cool. Summer is hot, winter is cold. Matter exists as solid, liquid and gas. All the three states of matter expand on heating. The expansion of matter depends on the temperature through which is heated. In this case, when we heat this plate, the higher the temperature, more is the expansion. Expansion and Contraction of a substance have wide practical applications. All of you must have seen there is a gap in between the joints of the railway tracks. Why is it so? In summer, the expansion of railway tracks are caused due to heat. Besides this, when a train runs over these tracks, they become hot due to friction. Hence, the volume of the railway tracks increases. The length of the railway track increases due to increase in its volume. As a result, the gap is filled. The railway tracks bend if gaps at the joints are not left and there is a risk for an accident. A liquid possesses a definite volume but it has no definite shape and takes the shape of the vessel in which it is kept. Liquids expand on heating. A glass flask with a long narrow neck is filled with a liquid up to the mark A. The flask is placed in a hot water bath. The liquid level first falls to the level B then rises to the level C. The liquid level initially falls to B because the heat of the water bath is immediately transferred to the liquid and hence the container expands. The level then rises to C as the liquid expands on receiving heat. Gases expand on heating. Tire balloon to the neck of a bottle, place the bottle in a basin filled with the hot water. Hold the bottle for some time in this basin. Now repeat the same procedure by filling the basin with cold water. Observe the change in the inflation of the balloon. The balloon inflates when the bottle is placed in the basin filled with the hot water because the air inside the bottle becomes warm and expands. Heat causes change of state. Matter can be changed from one form to another by heating and cooling. Change of state due to heating. If we heat a solid, it will soon turn into liquid. This process is called melting. If we further heat the liquid, we will see bubbles rising to the surface of liquid. This is called boiling. Soon the liquid will change into vapor. The change in the liquid to vapor on heating is called evaporation. Change in state due to cooling. On cooling, gases change into liquid state. This process is called condensation. On further cooling, 
the liquid finally turns into a solid. This process is called freezing. You know that every solid has a particular melting point, which is also the freezing point of the corresponding liquid. It's also true that a particular amount of heat is required to change a solid into a liquid. The corresponding liquid loses the same amount of heat when it changes into the solid. Thank you dear students. Rest of the topics we will discuss in next video.